Hello Power Fam. By the end of this lesson, you'll know how to measure the length of a train using physics. To calculate the speed of something, you would have to divide the distance the thing covered by the time it took the thing to cover that distance. You can rearrange this formula to calculate distance and time. There's a train traveling at 75 meters per second, meaning it is traveling 75 meters in one second. You are there to calculate the time it takes for the train to pass you. We've already got that, which is 3.6 seconds. Now the length of the train would be the distance covered by it. We've already got the speed and also the time. So to calculate the distance, it would be speed multiplied by time. So speed is 75 and time is 3.6 and you get 270 meters. So the train is 270 meters long. That's it for today's video. However, I have a question for you. We know that this is the time taken for the train to pass the observer. How can the observer increase the accuracy of the time measured? Comment down your answers below and I'll be pinning the correct one. Watch more of our videos here and please do consider subscribing because 82.9% of you are not subscribed yet. So I would really appreciate if you could subscribe this channel.